Hi guys, how are you? Um, for those of you who don't know me or who are new to our community or new to me online, um, my name is Brittany Rossi and I am a brand and business coach. Today I'm fighting a bit of a cold, um, but I know that we're going to get through this because I have some really exciting stuff to share. Um, so if you're not familiar with what a business and branding coach is or what they do, um, essentially I help women in the online space particularly to help captivate their people with a personal brand that really feels like them, doesn't feel like they're putting on a coat that doesn't fit right. Um, and it also like help, I also help them convert once they've captivated their people, um, I help them convert them from being curious into clients. So it's literally just this powerful intersection of where branding meets business in a very practical rubber meets the road kind of way. And so um, today I wanna to talk to you about how I got started in this business. And um, I think it's so easy to look at somebody else's journey or somebody else's results and just either be really encouraged and say like, oh my gosh, I can do that too. Or feel really discouraged and feel like you don't have what it takes because this person just magically can do what they do. And so um, we don't know people's stories. We don't know their experiences. We don't know their education. Um, we don't know how they got to have the expertise that they're claiming to have. And so I'm excited to share with you a little bit about me because I find it very helpful to hear about other people's experiences of the stories of how they got started, the twists and the turns of the journey that got them to where they're at, because oftentimes there's a lot more life experience than what they share in their brand story or what they're willing to put online about themselves um, that helped contribute to their success. So I hope that this helps inspire you and I hope that it helps um, assuage any doubts or discouragement that you've been feeling about your ability to build an online business. And um, this is a story. This is my story and my hope by sharing it is that it helps you uncover and embrace your story, your experience, your education, and your own expertise. So um, as a brand person, as a designer, you might think that I have a background in, <coughs> you might think I have a background in art or design, and the truth is that I don't. I actually have a background in science. I have a background in water quality studies, fisheries, oceanography. I thought I was going to be a marine biologist. And in fact, I was well on my way to that experience. Um, when I was in college, I got an internship right after at NASA. And a quick aside about that, because it does relate to our, the rest of the story, um, helping people helps you. Whether you're just in real life or on the online space and you're wondering like, how much should I share? How much information should I give away? How much should I keep back that they need to pay for? Being generous always helps you. And so I was helping a fellow college student with an oceanography assignment and they said, I thought jokingly like, ha, you should work for NASA. And I was like, ha ha, that's funny. Um, and they're like, no, really, like if you can do this level of work, then I'm the hiring manager and you should apply. And so I did and I worked at NASA for a little bit. Um, and so I did that for a while, but afterwards I wanted to travel. Um, and so I did that. And while I was doing that, I met my husband and I really thought I would someday maybe come back to science. And while we were, um, right after we got married, we moved to the mission field and we did missions work for many years and we lived primarily in Central America. See, you all blow Espanol. And we, um, had a lot of downtime in the evenings. We, we didn't always have really great internet. Um, we didn't have kids, we didn't have any pets. And so there's a lot of opportunity for us to just kind of Netflix binge and just hang out. And we knew that we didn't want to waste our lives on that. And um, I wasn't sure what was next. I, we were just very present in what we were doing, but I also knew that like I needed to maintain my skill set. I needed to stay marketable in case we ever changed careers. And we ended up doing that. But while I was in Central America, I was in Nicaragua, I started looking at ways to improve our online visibility as a nonprofit for our own organization, for our own mission stuff. And that was really important to us because we wanted to be professional. We wanted to be taken seriously. We were still kind of young. We were in our 20s. Um, but we were really serious about the missions work we were doing. We wanted our, our visible assets, our marketing assets to reflect that. And so 
we wanted to um, invest in that. And so I started learning. I started learning about email marketing. I started watching YouTube about Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop and how to make our photos look more professional and our um, brochures and our newsletters and our email marketing newsletters, how to make it all look more professional. And that's when I discovered the world of online teaching. And I, I love to learn and I love to educate. And I was like, this is my thing like this is something i want to do and i started teaching myself even more about the email marketing systems and the different ones that were out there and a little bit of code and i started playing on wordpress and squarespace and whatever else was available at that time um and so i learned all of these skill sets i learned all of these platforms and programs and then i discovered like i could get paid really good money doing what i was doing for our little family for free right and so that's what launched me. I, was, I just started taking action. I just began doing what I was interested in. And it turned into something more. I got momentum. I kept going. I learned a lot. I made a lot of mistakes. And some days um, during that journey, I wasn't sure if what I was doing was going to pan out. I was just trying different things and seeing what felt good, what fit. Um, and all I really knew was that I just wanted a business that could support our nomadic lifestyle at the time. And I, I wanted to be able to set myself up for a business where I could stay home and still be able to start a family. I still wanted to work, but I wanted to be able to have a family. So um, it, that still is a huge part of our, my why and our family's why. Um, but since starting in 2015, officially as a business, so a lot of this experience was pre-2015, I decided to get serious about it. And I discovered my sweet spot which was brand and business coaching. Um, I like both because the one feeds me really creatively and the other sparks the very techie, science-y side of my brain. And so I'm super grateful that I get to do this full time. Like this is such a gift. And what I've discovered as I've been talking to women who also want to be able to build a business that feeds them um, and is life-giving to them, is restorative and not draining to them. When I talk to them, um, they are very hesitant to get started because of the level of investment to get started, maybe the cost of a website, or maybe they're thinking about hiring a coach or needing to hire a, a designer to help them develop a brand. Um, and so they're really afraid to invest. They're afraid to make mistakes. Um, what if they start in one industry like life coaching, then they decide they want to do like success coaching, or they want to do financial coaching or something like that. Um, they're afraid to have to make pivots in the beginning. And so if that's you, I just want to tell you right now, like if you're just getting started or um, you're wanting to get started, hear me say this. It is not about perfection. It's about um, direction, right? So keep going. You can't turn a car that's parked. You can only turn a car that's moving, right? And so you just have to begin. If you want to begin, begin with whatever level of knowledge that you have. You may not know what you don't know, and that's okay. I just want to encourage you to get started going. And so I, I this was my story. I figured out everything for myself. I am a consumer of information. I'm a voracious book reader. I, had, I read like 100 books in 2015 or 2016. I don't remember what year it was. Like, I love to read. And so I figured out everything myself. I tinkered, I learned, I researched, and I wasted a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time on YouTube. I wasted a lot of time on Google. I wasted a lot of time on Shiny Object Syndrome. Now I'm very crystal clear about what I'm good at, who my clients are and should be, and what we can achieve together. But I didn't know that three years ago. And hear me say that, like, even though I had some things built into me, I'm very helpful. I love educating. I love learning, right? These are things inherent to me that have set me up for success in the industry that I'm in now. But I didn't know that I would be right here three years ago when I first got started. I thought I was just going to be creating courses. And that's kind of where I got started. I was creating courses and doing some email marketing and doing newsletters for nonprofit work. Um, and so what got me here for the last three years is not going to get me to the next set of goals that I have. And that's the same thing for you. What has gotten you um, to whatever point you're at is not going to get you to the next point. Um, so you have to keep going. But if you haven't even started, I just want to encourage you to begin and overcome that fear of 
making mistakes or maybe needing to pivot a little bit later, that's okay. Um, that's why I'm offering the, um, the mindset workshop is because in that journey, it was very hard to keep going. Sometimes it's easy to begin. For some of you, you might be listening to this and saying like, I've began like 10 times and I haven't gotten anywhere. Um, well, you have to keep going. That is part of the equation. And that's what I'm offering the mindset workshop about. Um, it's very discouraging to see other people um, getting ahead of you, but you don't know what experiences in education they've had, what family mindset stuff they've, they're coming to the table with that you don't have. And you know what? That's okay. Um, but for me, I didn't know that I had to have this kind of mindset capacity, resilience to failure, to making mistakes, to things not working out the way that I thought that they would. Um, and so if you haven't registered for the Mindset Workshop, I know it's going to be super powerful for you in 2019. Man, I wish I'd had somebody tell me these things when I was at the very beginning because I wouldn't have changed my mind so much and I would have tried again a lot more times than what I did in the very beginning. And so if you haven't registered for the workshop, you can do that at coaching.brittanyrossi.com slash renew. And I'll drop that in the comment section. But that's why I wanted to share my story with you. Um, it's very easy to get caught up in, in other people's results and other people's stories and other people's successes. Um, and that, that messes with your mind. It really does. And comparison is a thief. It robs us of joy. It robs us of our energy. It robs us of, of our own productivity and our own lane and our own business. And I don't want that for you in 2019. I wish that I had known that for myself. And now that now I do, and I've had incredible momentum, I've had incredible success with my clients and my business. And I want that for you too, um, because my heart is to educate. My heart is to see other people succeed around me. I want to be surrounded by successful people. And that includes you guys. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you are encouraged. I hope that you're inspired to keep going or just get started. Um, and um, that's all I have for you today. And I will catch you next week here in the Facebook community live for the workshop Monday through Friday. <coughs> Try to join me live, but if you can't, you can always catch the replay, but they're not staying up forever. So make sure you jump in, you either join live or catch the replays quickly. And I will see you guys in the community, but primarily live next week. Bye guys.